Hi, this is Chris Terrell. We're going to be doing a quick tutorial lesson on ranges. I've got the Visual Basic Editor and Excel open here so we can watch it, watch the two of them work together. We're going to call this Range Macro. Okay, so what I want to show you is range. Cool thing about ranges, they're very similar to sheets. You can do A1. You just all you have to do if you want to make it something hello world and if I hit F8 it's going to change that to hello world so the other thing you can do with ranges you can make them A1 to say B5 and then this time we're we actually can't go hello world because it doesn't know what to do. I'm going to just show you the little error that you'll get. So I'm going to hit F8. It's going to change it to hello world. It actually changes them all to hello world, so it does work. Um, typically, you would not do that, but in some cases, you might. The other thing that you could do is A1 to B5 dot select what that does the nice part about that is now it's selected um, and if then if you wanted to copy that you would just go selection dot copy which is a cool little feature right there now if you're dealing with large um, large ranges there's easier ways to do that with an array um, let's show you some other things here F8 we're gonna walk through this go range A1 clear okay so I want to show you a couple things so if you just do clear that will actually clear out the, f the font and everything so we're just doing this for okay so we've turned that now we said that th we're going to change that to it's red. Now when I hit clear, it's going to get rid of it. And as we go through it again, I'm going to come back up here. It gets rid of the um, gets rid of the formatting as well. So to get around that, easiest way to do that a one is clear contents. You'll notice that there was also um, all the clearing function. Clear comments, if you had comments, clear contents, clear formats, uh, there's lots of other things. Those are the most, those are the most common uh, used for a range. Um, the other thing that you can do is you can take a range, so if we wanted to take uh, one, if we wanted to make range A A fourteen equal to A one. Notice if we come down here, it's going to clear A one. Now in A fourteen, which is right there, it's going to now equal to that, which isn't going to help. So we're going to make this B one. So we're going to hit F five, and there it is.